Hello and welcome to World of Tanks on the Xbox One here. They're doing kind of a weekend um, closed beta, open beta, I don't know how they're doing this. I think it's, you preload the game, then you can get access to the um, to the beta, which comes out later, or to the game. It's um, the 11th and 12th, you can go and play as much as you want, and then uh, the 28th is when this game officially launches. And um, if you ever heard of World of War Tanks... Um, it is like the biggest game out there. Like it, it's up there with LOL in terms of just the popularity. It's it's really big, and it's, I mean, it's it's uh, done two different sp games. You got World of Warplanes and World of Warships. Um, but yeah, this is the um, this is the console version, the Xbox One that came out uh, last year on the Xbox 360, and I guess they liked it a lot and. Um, so like yeah let's let's do that and uh, this is what we got. Um, so if you've never played World of um, World of Tanks, it's you got several different tanks. You got light tanks, medium tanks, heavy tanks. Light tanks are your scouts. Medium tanks are kind of like your workhorse. And then um, heavy tanks are like your exactly what you think. You know they they slow moving things that will just blow shit up. Uh, you have tank destroyers which are a little bit light armor but. Um, have heavier cannons. They are front. The cannon is front mounted, so they're they they only pivot left and right. And, but they do a lot of damage to tanks. And then artillery, uh, which is the last class, which is the um, exactly what it is. It's kind of like you sit in the back and camp. Uh, a lot of people hate them. I don't know how they balanced them recently on the PC, but uh, for a while, like everybody hated artillery because you just sit in the back and just like drop shit on and there's just too many people playing uh, artillery. Uh, when you do um, do do the close betting, you do get um, you sign up, you get preload, you do get three premium tanks. So premium tanks are tanks fully upgraded. So a lot of people, there's a few minority of people that think that World of Tanks is pay to win. Like, no, it, it's not. Um, War Thunder also suffers from the same criticism. It's, it's, you can buy planes and ships and and you know tanks in these games you know but they're fully upgraded they're like you're paying to progress you're buying a tank that's going to be fully cr progressed except for the crew and so that's that's what you get here you get the uh, the t14 and then the locust for the americans and i mean there's just so many tanks there's there's literally world of tanks in this fucking thing like originally it came out with american russian and german uh with some um English, but slowly they have progressed to, uh, th again, this is on consoles too, I don't know what it's like on PC. Uh, we got French, Chinese, Japanese tanks and all that stuff, and just, oh, there's not many Japanese tanks. Huh. On on the PC. Like, even Chinese, uh, Chinese, Russians, just tons and tons of tanks. The Americans and the Germans are gonna have the most here. Just like, wall to wall of tanks. Just like, look at all these tanks. There's just so many tanks. There's just so many fucking tanks. Like, there's just, like, it's... It's it's insane. And they range from uh, late World War One to the uh, their early 60s. Um, and then they just... They're just... Uh, War Gaming is insane with this... Um, with the amount of tanks that the French have a fair amount, too. Interesting, interesting. And so, how to unlock tanks, you... Um, you first can buy first when you first start up this game, you get access to some tanks, but uh, you unlock tanks by leveling up. So if I start using this guy, I'm going to accumulate stars, which are experience, and then I can use those stars to buy um, these uh, other tanks. You know, uh, tank destroyer, light tank, light tank, light tank, artillery, blah blah blah, and then you know progress to theirs. And there's a, like a tree. And so, like, so, if I level this guy up, the next thing I can do is um, buy this. And so, af after I buy that tank, this uh, T-46, the T-26 becomes um, golden. Or, I forget what, it's not golden, but, like, elite. And so, every time I earn experience, I earn free experience. Free experience can be used throughout the whole game. So, I have 487 free experience and allows me to buy these, game these tanks, or research them. It's called research. Um, and all that stuff. So this is very common within the War Thunder and the world of warships, war planes, and tanks kind of like thing of military arcade simulators. So it's 
it's nothing new. Um, it can get a little bit grindy. I remember in War Thunder, or it was really grindy, at least when it on, played it on PS4. But yeah, it's... It, it's... It's World of War Tanks. World of Tanks. It's it has a really nice UI. There's some missions and all that stuff. I haven't played it on the PC. It's it's um, tons of stats. Uh, if you're really big into this game on the console, even even on the PC, uh, there is apps for that to check to check your uh, check all that stuff and all that stuff. Garages, tanks, um, you know, store. The the store right now on the Xbox One is um is closed, but. What you buy is premium and uh, gold. Gold is pretty much the you know the the real money currency that allows you to buy uh, buy you some stuff. It, it's you can go pretty down the pretty deep down the rabbit hole. You can convert uh, with gold. You can convert convert it into in-game currency, which is your silver, and then you can also convert um, tank uh, tank experience into free experience. And then, um, all that stuff. So, like, you know, if I had, I, I got 450, and I can convert all my experience into free experience and all that stuff. And then, um, the premium is just, like, a boost, 50% more gold, 50% more experience. Um, I'm really, I don't really like this. Um, I know on the, on the World of Warships, it's about $100 for, for a year. That's a lot of money. Like, that's $100 up front. It's not like a subscription. I kind of wish they had a subscription base. I would be more... In I'm... Like, people... Like, they can... It's cheaper just to buy it all at once. Like, yeah, but it's also like... I'm paying it installments. And then, like, hey, I could stop any time. Uh, type of thing. But, like, when you're, you're up fronting $100 for a game. You're going to be playing for a year. And, like, I don't play games that much for... Uh, for over the course of the year. Even Battlefield 4, my one of my favorite games. I, I kind of just, like... I come back at once in a while and then um, play it, but yeah, it's it's about a, like a dollar per per hundred coin I think on the on the consoles on the at least on PC. So it's like these things are not even open yet to buy gold, but everything it, everything is gold. To buy premium is gold. To exchange gold, it's gold. Convert experience and then there's some specials that also require um, gold. So that, that it's. There's a lot of stuff in World of Tanks. Um, if if you any of this looks really cool to you and you wanted to get dive into more, it's on the PC, and it like practically runs on anything. Like if you have a MacBook, it probably runs on that. I think they do have a MacBook for, or a Mac version, but yeah, it's it's fun. Like there's there's so much to this game, so we can do upgrades. I mean, I'm just shouting out constant stream of talk but it's it's so deep like you can go down the rabbit hole with some of this stuff supplies you know you get consumables you can change uh, uh, your different um, projectiles and all that stuff but yeah it's um and here's what a lot of people hit there's the premium things that cost money but like say they will do more damage but do less penetration so it would be good for like light tanks to use this or fighting against light tanks because it doesn't have the penet it had no heavier tanks but it doesn't have the damage that uh that the uh, high explosive so it's not a big deal um other consumables include you know kit health kits um engine power blah 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 and some of this can be done used with uh, in-game currency and you can have it to auto resupply Equipment, so you got camouflage, blah, 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 speed increase, you know, uh, protection to critical damage, blah, 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 so there's all the little perks, customization, camouflage, different camouflage, blah, 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 uh, inscriptions, uh, emblems, um, and you can also sell, sell it, and then uh, the crew is kind of like, they are your, um, your crew. So you have people in your tank, and so they can get shot in the tank. And if they get shot, say your driver gets shot, your driving capability is going to be is going to be lost. Say you need a radio uh, guy to communicate with your teammates and spot um, to tell them where positions are. And if he dies, that radius goes down. So there's really a lot of deep in this really arcadey game too. It's pretty nuts, um, and all that stuff. So let's what's He's the locust here. What was that? Oh crap! I just hit battle. Well, fuck. 
the load times are kind of a little bit much. I would like them to be a little bit shorter. Um, but yeah, this, this game is pretty good. Um, yeah. They have these little, nice little tool tips, or like these little load screens that I really like. They're pretty informative. Like, y tanks can be behind bushes and you don't see them. So like, so the enemy sees the bait, but he doesn't he see the snipers. But the bait is really... But the snipers don't see the enemy, but they see him because of the bait. Because they're behind a thing. So there's there's radio, and then there's sight. And so the distance of sight can be farther than radio. So if you see a target, um, then your guy and anybody in your radio range will be also be able to see that. So that's how artillery works. It's it's super complex. Uh, so forward controls, we got um, you know basic forward, uh, pivot left, pivot right on the stick. Um, L uh, left trigger for zoom in, uh, right stick to zoom in farther. Uh, third person FOV on here. Fire is right trigger. Uh, auto aim, which is. Uh, present on the uh, the PZ version which just locks the, uh, the the cannon to a target is a uh, right trigger is a uh, right bumper oh there you go. what are you doing what are you doing okay. oh Jesus So there is also friendly fire. Shit. Crap. Let's find and then uh, left bumper is communications, and then like the face buttons are um, are a bunch of like stuff, like consumable stuffs, uh, reload button, all that stuff. But you would only reload on uh, light tanks. Light tanks usually have um, w uh, like uh, like a machine gun type of thing. You fire a bunch of rounds. So in the top left, it's very familiar if you ever played World of any of the World of uh, Tanks, World of Warplanes, and all that stuff. Uh, squares are artillery. Um, rotated rhombuses are um, light tanks, and then rhombuses with lines distinguish if it's uh, light or medium or heavy. One line is medium, two lines is heavy, and then the uh, upside down triangle is the um, is the um, the tank destroyer. This is a lot more fast. It's a faster pace than um. Faster pace than the uh, PC one, and I think that that's pretty cool. Now they do, they do a lot of simulate the um. You know, like hey, you want to shoot them in the back? You want to shoot their tires and their treads and. You lose your treads and all that stuff, which is kind of cool. So you want to aim for treads. You want to aim for the back. Got him. There we go. So we killed 11 of them, and they've only killed 5. There's only 4 left, so we won. Uh, in the bottom left, you see your full health uh, with the modules of your tank, so they can take out your engine, your gun, uh, your turret. So if you take out your turret, you can't rotate. It does auto repair, but it, the damage is still being damage is still done. Uh, repaired as in the, the module will uh, still work, but not as efficiently. And then below that, in the, in the bottom left, there is your um, is your crew members. Uh, left stick in is your cruise control, so that's just max speed, and uh, that's where it indicates in the bottom left, in the middle there. Bottom right is your rotating mani map. In the middle there is your ammo. You can cycle through that, and then in the top right is your um, emblems you get. Jesus Christ, we're fucking hauling ass through here. So most of these missions consist of um, most of these maps consists of we cat killing everybody or capping the point. Cap at the point will finish the game. Uh, more people uh, on the point, faster the capture. Uh, 
if there we go. Good, we're good. There we go. One guy back in his way over here. Oh wow! And then just like most of these games, you, your tank is destroyed, your vehicle is destroyed, you are out. You can return to garage or just spectate and uh, do all that stuff. So it's it's really cool. And then you get this, um, you know. You get double, ex the first win gives you double and all that stuff, and it's really cool. Um, this is something new, I haven't actually, s this is, I noticed in uh, World of Warships. Um, you can just queue up, if you win the game, or if you're there for the whole game, you can, if the, when the game in in ends, either you win or lose, you can just roll back into the thing, you can also just leave queue. This is really nice, real fast. Um, and then, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, we, we got some experience here, but this doesn't do anything because this guy's fully upgraded. Uh, let's see, we can crew. So he's fully, you level up your crew, and so with this we can, uh, we can get some perks here. So choose a perk, uh, accelerate repairs on modules, that scale's more effective when combined with toolboxes, blah blah blah. Mentor produces additional, cr eh. Enable commander to identify critical damage modules on a vehicle within range, it is effective in both Indirect and direct fire modes. Uh, jack of all trades. Six cents enables committed to a different way that we guess. Okay, let's um, let's actually get this. Confirm. So just a little perk, and so now he's gonna be leveling up. And you got a bunch of crew members. Uh, so these are the guys that I got from um, from the ships. Uh, from the uh, tanks I sold. Miss. Now again, they only go into the appropriate uh, nations tanks. Let's see here. So who has a lot of experience? So this guy has a lot of experience. We're gonna upgrade perks, and then we're gonna buy the tank. So elite status. So all experience gained on the elite vehicle is accumulated. Um, tank experience earned on the elite vehicles can be converted to free experience. And then I can uh, buy this tank for 47000 And then uh, if I had available crew, I can, um, if I had it like they, they weren't assigned, I can do that. And then let's see, recruit crew. I could spend 700 gold premium gold to get 100 tanks so I can just get them a perk right instantly. Or I can... Um, Spend 700,000 700, or 70,000 to get 75% or just 50% for free. And they do with a little video, blah blah blah. Skip that. And now I have a new tank the M7 Priest artillery tank. So we're just gonna, have, we're gonna play this and then I think that's gonna, we're gonna wrap it up. So it's the uh, artillery is a little bit uh, different, but there's a lot of people playing this. About twenty thousand people. There's crossplay, but with the Xbox 360 and the Xbox One version, which is kind of cool. So no crossplay between the PC. Um, the mini the maps seem to be very similar to the ones on the on the um, PC, but from what I've read, it's pretty much just a PC port, which is um, with a little bit of you know, hey, it's on a controller. Maybe we just ease it up a little bit and some tweaking to the damage models too. Damage um, modifiers, but yeah, this game's actually really fun and it's free to play. Like it's, it's really fun. I'm, I'm, I really didn't enjoy my time playing it on PC. I haven't played it in a long time because I would just like go in there and just die instantly, and I would just play the artillery and I'm like, this is not fun. This is not fun. Uh, I bet I have been enjoying uh, World of a uh, World of Warships. I, I really enjoyed that game. They really did a good job on that game. Uh, oh, and the best part about this uh, World of Tanks is actually made in America. Um, small little developer talked to World of Gaming that got bought by um, Wargaming. I was like, yeah, we would like to port this to consoles. And they're like, yeah, sure, why not? Like, it's a great game. Like, there's 
Of course, it does have this little bit of a, you know, it would be cooler if it was a mouse, but, like, there's auto-aim. That's, that's built into the game. Like, that's on the PC, so you're not missing much. Okay, so the artillery is completely different from the uh, from standard tanks. What you pretty much just sit in the back. So I'm the only artillery here. There's uh, another artillery there, and I just want to like sit in the back. Maybe get behind these trees. Oops, wrong button. And then I have this, this, and with this I can shoot anywhere. So you can see in the bottom left my thing is rotating. And so, when I move to the, too far to the right, it moves uh, the tank itself. And so what needs to happen is I can lock the hole with uh, pressing on the, um, the left on the D-pad, and the, the tank won't rotate, so it will constantly kind of zoom in there. Um, red indicates where I can't shoot. So I have a reticule zooming in here. Let's see here. where I, uh, There's some guys back here. I'm gonna drop a fucking hammer on this guy. And then I got a right trigger for that. Who? And so in the middle, it's, it's, uh. What does that 67 mean? I have no idea. Oh, 67 rounds. Reload time, and then right below that is seconds. That's how long the, the, the bullet will travel, which is kinda cool. What the hell? Am I getting shot? So it's two seconds, let's see. Damn it. We're not doing so hot. Damn it. Oh, there's a guy right next to me. Oh! Oh, I'm being shot by a fucking teammate. What a douchebag. Wow, I think I was attacked by my teammate. Uh, because you... You only get sh You When you get detected, that means they saw you. Ugh. <sighs> That's World of a Tank. It's really fast, a lot faster than it was on t PC. Unless, you know, actually I haven't played it in such a long time, so it could be different. But yeah, this has been uh, World of War Tanks. World of... Why do I keep... I guess it's because of, like, uh, World of War Planes and World of uh, Warships. And then World of Planes was supposed to be... Was the original name for War Plane? Was for one th War Thunder? So it's, like, all fucking confusing. And there's a huge, huge debacle between the two. Like, they, they're, like, the same... War Thunder teams would be a little bit more realistic in some of their stuff. I didn't really ha like their tanks stuff. It was like too much about like getting precise shots and just I don't know. But this is really fun. Um, I, it's it's World of War. It's World of Tanks. I don't know what you want from it. It's free to play. It's right now. It's uh, September 11th to the um, 12th. Is going to July 11th to the uh, 12th is a free weekend and then it comes out on the 28th. Anyways, as always, uh, thanks for watching and uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe.